Uh, the best guys going to play. And uh, I can be freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior. Uh, if you get beat out, you get beat out. It's not personal. It's, you know, it's, it's the business side of it, and we want the best guys to, to be on the field and help us win. <coughs> Thomas, how would you assess uh, David's year at tight end? It's been really good. I think he's a very versatile player. Um, obviously, can do a lot of lot for you out in space and plays a lot like a wide receiver at times. And uh, he's a mismatch. You know, he's big enough to to overpower uh, most safeties. Kind of safeties and DBs matched up against him, and fast enough to to run past any linebacker you want to put against him. And I think he's done a really good job of developing more as an attached tight end and and proving he can do both. What do you think has clicked with him? It seems like he hasn't dropped as many passes, whereas in the start of the year that might have been a little bit more a problem. Yeah, I think just concentration. I think his, his coach has done a really good job. Coach Holly done a really good job of staying on him. And, uh, you know, like all our guys, you got to consistently hammer stuff into their heads. And uh, maybe people forget that these guys do other stuff outside of play football. They go to school and have social lives. And, and sometimes, I'm not just saying him specifically, but guys get distracted. You got to reel them back in and make sure when we step in this building, we're, we're locked in and focused on our jobs. Anything else? Yeah. Thank you. What are you yeah. thankful for, Thomas, as far as you know, th this program and outside the program? Ah, uh, that's a lot. That's a that's a long question. Um, <laughs> I mean, I'm thankful for a lot. I also know the the holidays coming up, and, and and that holiday doesn't mean the same thing to everybody. I think I, I celebrate thankfulness every single day. Um, I, I, don't, I won't say that Thanksgiving means uh, the same thought to everybody across this country, uh, but I'm thankful for the life I've been given. You know, for uh, my father in heaven that I served, that gave me the opportunity to be here. Uh, I'm thankful for my family, you know, my my wonderful wife, my two boys. I got another boy on the way. Be here in March. I'm raising a house full of kings. I'm excited about that. And I uh, just, you know, just for the opportunity to be here at the University of Miami, a place that I grew up watching and, and wanted to be a part of uh, as a high school, you know, football player. And I'd be able to coach here and be, be coaching with some of the best of the best. As you look at your offensive numbers, any area where you say we, we need to be better at this last game, the bowl game, and and into next year? Uh, well, you know, I know it's a coaching answer, but you can get better at every single spot. But obviously, O line wise, we gotta uh, gotta get some numbers in there, get some more bodies, get some more competition there, and uh, receiver. You know, again, we got some some very talented guys, but you can never have enough enough weapons uh, to be able to keep guys healthy, keep them fresh throughout spring ball. Uh, fall camp and just be able to practice, but also to be able to you know play in the game and help keep guys fresh so they're not playing 70 snaps in the game because it's hard to keep a guy fresh and, and play in full speed if he's playing that many snaps. Speaking of offensive line, do you view the LSU transfer, who you have there at that position as a potential high impact guy? Uh, he better be. You know, we brought him in for a reason. You know, I think every guy we bring into that room is going to, you know, uh, better come in ready to compete and have an opportunity if you wanted to come take a spot. Thanks, Thomas. Great.